I'm really excited to bring some questions to you that we got from your Twitter followers. Yeah, I'm ready. Looking forward to answering these questions. So the folks had questions specifically about candidate recruitment. How does that sort of work? So when you think about candidate recruitment, I think I want you to think about it in several phases, right? Basic level, the first level, who gets the first crack at recruiting candidates? That belongs to state parties. It's their state. They're recruiting candidates for their state. Once it goes past the state parties, the next level is the campaign committee. That is their particular lane. For the DCCC, then the DCCC is out there working with state parties to re recruit candidates for Congress. The DLCC is there to recruit candidates for state house and state senate. The DSCC recruiting candidates for the US Senate and the DGA recruiting candidates for governor. As chair, I've offered my assistance to all of our sister committees to help with recruitment for Democratic candidates. It primarily falls on the state party, secondarily falls on the campaign committees that are in charge of their individual lanes. And then the final backstop is the DNC. We try to fill the holes when they are, uh, are present. So it is a smorgasbord of a lot of people, a lot of chefs in the kitchen, all trying to create the, the best recipe. Another question we got was about the 50 state strategy and sort of what that means for red states and what is the best thing we can do to flip them? The strategy really originated back in 2006 when Howard Dean became chair of the Democratic National Committee. What he was making a commitment to was to compete everywhere, to make sure that we invest in state parties in our 50 states, in DC, in Puerto Rico, in our other territories. So what we are going to do under my chairmanship at the DNC is re-engage on the 50 state strategy. Go state by state, doing uh, assessments of our state parties to find out what are their strengths, what are their weaknesses, what are some of the holes that they currently have uh, present in their operation, and how can the DNC actually fill that hole? It's about making sure that we are building back better on the state party apparatus, that we aren't ceding any ground to Republicans. Wherever you find a Democrat, you will find the DNC and a strong state party. That's what we want. We are looking at making sure we plant the seeds for the next Georgias and the the next Arizona is out there so that those seeds sprout and they grow and we actually get some more Democrats elected across this country. Another question is about the staffing and the teams, the DNC. What is the team that sort of works with the states and the state parties? So, you know, at the DNC, we got a few hundred staff that are all in various departments, from political to communications to technology to mobilization. But there's a, a unique entity within the, the larger entity of the DNC, and that is a group called the Association of Democratic Chairs. In essence, the ASDC is the Association of Chairs and Vice Chairs from the various state parties and it includes the executive directors as well. The DNC provides that organization staff that are inside uh, and embedded in the DNC and they help us to operate on the day-to-day -day basis uh, to coordinate with our state parties. So these are very experienced people and they are working on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that our state parties have everything that they need and they're working in conjunction with the DNC to, to make sure we do just that. Another question we got is about running for office. How can one run for a local government if they choose to? So the first step is do your homework. Figure out what the office is, what the responsibilities are, what the pay is, and what the requirements are to run for that particular office. Do your due diligence to find out uh, the, the things that are required for you to run. Are there any special requirements as it relates to age or, or geography? Do you need to live in a certain district or in a certain area? Do you need to have any special expertise? Once you feel comfortable with that, then you need to go to your, your county party or your state party office to talk to the Democrats there to let them know that you're interested in it, that you intend to file for that particular office, and to see what services that they may provide to you in order to run. Then you need to make sure that you are starting to build the campaign organization that you need in order to win. You're thinking about the campaign staff, from your uh, campaign manager to a finance director to help you fundraise, uh, you know, to organizers on the ground. All of those roles are very, very important and essential. You want to make sure you build an organization uh, so that you can win. I know it's not the most simple thing. It can be very difficult and the higher you get up, uh, the more difficult it can be. But nonetheless, uh, we need more good people to run for office. And I hope you all consider doing just that.